Casper, first of all, congratulations on signing your senior contract. How does it feel? Um, delighted, really. Everything I've been working towards all my life, so just happy. I've got it over the line, happy of being offered one. How did it all kind of come about, you know, the talks? And who, who pulled you and told you that uh, you were going to be on so, the contract? Playing man new the Tuesday night. On the Thursday, I came into training, just trained normally. Stuart Swift pulled me, told me I was going for a meeting at the stadium. Didn't tell me anything who it was with or anything like that. Um, and he took me into one of the suites, one of the boxes. And then my mum and dad just came in. I didn't know they was there. I didn't know anything about it. And then Gaffer was there in, in it, and he told me I was getting one. Absolutely, I love yeah. And what were you expecting when you got to the stadium? Well, I, I didn't know anything about it. So I thought he told me I was having a meeting with with Stuart. So, and then he took me into there. But once we started walking towards it, I thought something about it, and I had a feeling. So, not a bad week then for full debut and uh, been no. told been offered a contract as well. One of the best weeks of my life. So, how do you reflect on these last few months then? Because you're obviously heavily involved in in pre-season you played in the, the games as well how do you look, at, look back on these last few months to this point well um, so on a Wednesday night I had a game with the 18s and the gaffer came and watched that and, and after that he was he told me I was training with him the next day and then on that day on the Thursday he told me I was starting in Spennymore on the Saturday so it was all came very quick and I just had to try to prepare myself the best I could for it and obviously I did it and I had a good game in spending more so and so what was that like as, as an experience amazing really just playing alongside Woody everything about it was just couldn't really ask for any more they all helped me through it everyone supporting me all the way through even training they always giving me tips always giving me stuff I can do better and then praising me I do well as well so I'm going to ask you about the kind of how, how much you're out the, the other lads have been the senior lads it's, not a bad group to learn from really you've got Woody at the kind of back mm. end of his career looking to move into coaching as well but then you know a really good mix and uh, Jay McGrath and yeah. Joseph as well yeah especially Jay he's, he's like young he's one of the ones that coaching me through it a lot he always giving me tips always telling me what to do and stuff like that so just having them people helping me come through just makes it a lot easier for me do you feel like you've come on a lot over these last couple of yeah, years yeah a lot like last season didn't really train with the first team at all, really. And it all came so quick. I had to prepare myself very fast. And I feel like I've changed massively as a player and as a person. You've still got one foot in the under 18 camp, of course, and you'll continue to kind of feature for them as well. How have they been, Greeny, and, and the rest of the coaching staff with you? About, about the pro? Uh, every, everything oh, about everything. over the moon. For well, the it's, like, it's all, all, always the same messages. Everything's the same through the 18s to the first team. So it's all, even when I go down, I'm still doing the exact same things, play the same formation, that type of stuff. And they're just, but like obviously Sam Brown as well, training with the first team quite regularly. When we come down, they expect us to be the more senior people and help all the first year scholars that are coming through and help them try and make that step up as well. Could you see yourself in that kind of, those kind of leadership roles? It often falls to, to centre half and things yeah. like that. Do you think you could take that on, on going forward? Yeah. I think I'm a good leader. Yeah, good, good stuff. What's the what's the gaffer been like with you and, and Cliff and, and the rest of the coaches? That the, I've seen you they've all been supportive. All told me, what, like, same with the players really. All told me what I'm doing well, what I can improve on, all stuff like that. Sam as well telling me stuff I need to improve on in like gym, like running and stuff like that. So it's everything, all this help I can get benefits me. What well, like Manchester United under 21's game like? How did you feel in that one? Well, it, it good good day, full debut, played well. I thought Gaffer said I was excellent, so I must have done my job right, and it was very good. Nice little battle that you've got going on with Ethan Wheatley, either way forward, but certainly knows how to put himself about. But you, you seem to get the better of that. One. Yeah, I've heard a lot about him. Watched him med make his prem debut and all stuff like that. So I knew about him. I knew what he was like. So. I just, I myself I could and what, came out on top yeah absolutely what, um, what's your aim then between now and the, the end of the season what are you you're hoping for just be involved in the first team as much as I can 
maybe get out on loan, get involved with men's f- football more and more, and then hopefully I can like, step up to the first team fully. You've had some kind of good, exa- good recent examples to follow Will Flint out at the moment, yeah. doing, doing well, but, but Sam as well, you, you touched upon, is good for some advice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Flint, he, he I speak to him regularly. Obviously, I played with him last year, so I speak to him about his loans and stuff like that quite a few times.